Now I have made a couple of trading videos on the Trading Rush channel. Most of the time, when someone new asks a question in the comments section, wonderful people who regularly watch the Trading Rush videos answer them quickly. But some questions are too complicated to be answered in the comments. That's why in this video, I'm going to answer some of the most asked questions on this channel. Some of them are really important, like the indicator repainting question some viewers asked in the comments. If you don't know what a repainting indicator is, let me explain. Repainting indicator is an indicator that changes its historical values. There are two kinds of repainting indicators. One is like the fractal indicator, and this one is a useful one. But then there is a second kind of repainting indicator. This kind will repaint the entry signals. If it fails to predict the correct direction, most of the new traders are really confused about these repainting indicators. Some of them say, all indicators repaint the historical values. If you say something like that, you probably don't understand how an indicator works. Most of the popular indicators do not repaint their historical values. Let me explain. I have tested many different strategies on the Trading Rush channel. One of them was the MACD strategy. The entry signals generated by the MACD while back testing and in live market won't repaint as long as you have the proper MACD indicator applied on your chart. That's because MACD is only looking at past data to give the crossover entry signals. MACD calculates its data by looking at the closing price of the candles. When I was testing the MACD strategy 100 times, I was entering my trades at the closing price of the candle. There is no way in the world that MACD will repaint the data in a live market. The only place you will see the MACD repainting the data is at the running candle. MACD will change the data at the running candle because the candle is still running. If the candle is still running, it is not closed. Since MACD is calculated using the closing price of the candle, and if the candle is not closed yet, why are we entering the trades on the running candle and blaming the indicators? MACD is a not a repainting indicator. But fractal kind of is. When I made the fractal video on this channel, I clearly explained that fractal is based on five candles, two candles on the left and two candles on the right. The two candles on the left are historical candles. They will never change their values. But on some trading platforms, fractal will repaint itself if the two candles on the right are not formed yet. In simple words, fractal will disappear and reappear if the two candles on the right are still running. Like I said before, most indicators are based on the closing price of the candles. In this case, fractal appears and disappears because the candles on the right are still running. When the two candles on the right are closed, and if there is a proper fractal pattern formed, fractal arrow will not disappear. That's why in my fractal video, when I explained how the fractal works, I clearly said only take trades on the opening price of the third candle after the arrow. If you wondered why fractal arrows disappear and reappear, now you know why. But there is another kind of repainting indicator. These repainting indicators will literally change the historical values if they were wrong at predicting the correct price direction. These kinds of indicators are only profitable on the historical data and never in the live markets. These kind of indicators are commonly sold online for a decent amount of money. They don't work. Don't try to buy indicators. Most of them will only work on historical data and will not be profitable in the live markets. There are many different indicators that are very useful and are absolutely free. You can easily find them on TradingView for free. The indicators that I test and have tested on the Trading Rush channel work exactly the same way while back testing and in the live markets. They don't repaint their values except the fractal. But if you have watched my fractal video, you know you are supposed to enter the trades at the third candle after the arrow because fractal is based on the five closed candles, two candles on the left and two candles on the right. Another question I get asked a lot is why I don't test the VWAP indicator 100 times. It's true that I love the VWAP indicator while trading stocks. I use it every time. I have even uploaded live trading videos featuring the VWAP indicator. The reason I don't test this indicator 100 times is because 
The WAP is not an entry signal generator. It's a tool that shows the volume weighted average price. In simple words, it shows where the institutional brokers are most likely to enter their positions. I have already made a detailed video on the VWAP. Check it out if you want to know more. It only works on the stock market. Like I said, VWAP is a tool, just like the Fibonacci tool. I don't enter trades with VWAP. I enter trades at the VWAP only if there is an entry signal, like a candlestick pattern. That's all. These were some of the questions that were repeatedly asked in the comments. And now you know a little bit more about trading.